Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dude's Kitchen and Grills Slacker Food Vlog number four, number four, number four. Brought to you by the official drink of me, a white Russian. Good for slackers everywhere. I hope everybody's doing well. I want to say uh, hi to everybody who's on Instagram watching this live. Hi. And uh, I want to say hi to all the folks on YouTube who will see this on Friday. Hi. Today I want to talk trolls. All right, but before we get to that, I got a letter in the mail. And I think it's stickers, but I have no idea who it's from. It's from Longview, Texas. Let's just give this an open and see what's in it. I do like stickers. If you guys uh, have stickers, I would love to uh, get stickers from you. And uh, I have some stickers too, so I'd love to share. Wow, these are from Food Spoon. Let's see. Spooning since 2016. Spoon Foods. I love it. Oh, Red Dirt Barbecue. I love it. Got a nice uh, picture of Texas there. You know, everything's larger in Texas. Less, at least that's what I'm told, but Idaho's pretty large too. All right, well, thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. And I will put a, a link to your, your uh, handle uh, on this video. Trolls. You know, you know what the definition of a troll is? Well, according to Google, a troll is a person who posts in inflammatory, insincere, digressive, or off-topic messages. The intent is to provoke the reader into displaying emotional responses. How about you? You guys got trolls? I have a couple, and uh, they kind of come and go. I have more trolls on Facebook than anything else. So I'm, I'm just curious, do you connect with them at all? Do you, do you talk to them at all in the comments? And, and what do you say when you engage them? I know CJ uh, will tell him to F off, which I think is great. So, and then he leaves it at that. Uh, I haven't done that. I, I have two trolls and they really came out on, sorry, it's a little warm out here. I do what's cooking, but you already know what that is. So I had two trolls come out on my beer can versus canned water ribs. And one guy said, I hate cooking with aluminum. Oh, well, good for you. I'll name a holiday after you. Another guy said, just what I love, beer can paint glazed ribs. Well, you know what? So do I. I love it so much. That's why I put that Bud Light in there. And I was so bummed out when I didn't get any beer can glaze on there. It's probably why I left the silver skin on, right? Because I wrapped the rib around the can with the silver skin on. There you go. <laughs> I don't know. All right, well, what's cooking? Of course, me. Once again, it's back in the hundreds. This week, for a video coming up, I'm making barbecue beef cups. I'm not gonna show you exactly what it is, but I've, I've had this once before when I was experimenting with it, and I gotta tell you, I enjoyed them. I really did. Very good. I'm also going to try to do ribs on the Weber kettle. Haven't done those before, but uh, this week I'm just kind of, I'm really busy, so I'm not sure I'm gonna have time to do that, so maybe next week. We are doing another food challenge next week, and I wanna thank Ron from Four Seasons Barbecue for this again. And next week it will be pureed watermelon and steamed broccoli. Yeah, looking forward to that. This week's video, we did poor man's picanha. Chef Rich had a, an interesting point, and we've talked about Chef Rich before, and what he brought up is the petite sirloin I was using is probably more expensive than the uh, sirloin cap, but I don't know, I can't get a hold of any sirloin cap, so I have no idea, but I'm a poor man, I know that. I'm still using Stroika for my white Russians, I go with Stroika because that way I can afford to continue to cook and have all these cool toys, right? <laughs> so anyhow, that video is doing okay. Uh, I got no complaints. I finally did the spicy chicken, but I, I altered it just a little bit and I went 
probably a sweet and spicier, crispy chicken sandwich. And let me tell you, that was the best chicken sandwich I've ever had. That will be my video coming out on Tuesday, so keep your eyes and ears open for that one. By the way, on our grilled spicy chicken sandwich, I personally think it's the best video I've ever done and probably the best editing Patrick at Patty Joe Cooking has ever done as well. So that guy just gets better. Highly recommend him. A couple sh channel shout outs. I found a new channel and it's called Dave Grant Cooks. I love his channel. He, he seems like a down to earth, normal kind of guy, right? He's just kind of hanging out, you know, and having a good time. He said he works nights at a hospital, you know, but when he comes home, he cooks. Just recently, he did basically a sausage egg McMuffin, but he did his own spin on it. And I gotta tell you, I've done a video on that stuff before, but his was much better. So Dave, great job on that. I'll leave his link down below. Make sure to check out his, his videos. He's got some shorts that he's had actually some pretty good success with and regular videos that uh, he's doing all right on. So let's show him some love. Craig at Behind the Garage Barbecue. Now he made a strawberry glaze for ribs. Now I thought to myself, strawberry glaze? No way, but I'm telling you, it looked amazing. So it is definitely a must try. Make sure you check out Craig's strawberry glazed pork ribs. I think you'll be surprised at how good they look, right? A couple of viewer shout outs. This one, kinda, this one made me funny and I think he's a new sub. And it uh, is Brian Thrasher. <laughs> he was watching uh, an older video of mine that the ground, or the, uh, sorry, the Tostado, the ground beef Tostado video. And Patrick's the one that edited that video for me. And he said it reminded him of early morning, early 90s porn music. I went back and looked at it and went, yeah, it kind of does. So <laughs> that was great. Lee with Smoking Bears. You know, I have this, I have this new saying that I like to say, it's kind of a motto. Here's to letting life come to us once in a while. Well, we, we called out Lee last week as well, but Lee and I, I, I feel a certain kinship to Lee. He's a great guy. And he came up, or he came across W-I-N, what's important now. And you know what? Makes total sense. Because what's important now may not be important five minutes from now. Who knows? Chef Rich called him out a couple times. Love his channel. He asked what my real name was. I love that comment. So maybe at one of these days I will do a contest and see if anybody knows what my real name is. I'm sure a couple of my viewers do. And uh, maybe we will. Speaking of contest, I'm about ready to approach 1,500 subscribers on my YouTube channel. I talked to Uncle Steve earlier this week and we are going to do a giveaway where we're gonna put this mug on the label of his shakes and that'll be a giveaway. So keep your eyes and ears open for that. As soon as we get real close to 1500, we'll do the contest. I'm at uh, 1446 right now. So let's get to 1500. <laughs> Thanks guys, appreciate it. Oh, let's scroll down a little bit. By the way, I did tell Chef Rich what my real name is, but uh, he still con continues to call me dude. All right, you guys ready for some business? I released another Instagram reel, and it was about what is your favorite restaurant? Now, I have two of them. One of them is called The Rustic Kitchen, and that's what this video was on. My second one was actually my all-time favorite. It's a place called Sully's, and uh, my friend Kelly, who could be watching this, might not be, she works there. You've seen her on our shows before, and so I'm hoping here early next week to get in and film a short on that. That one did really well. It got 11,300 views on Instagram, but when I put it on YouTube, I got about 350. I don't know. It's one of those videos on YouTube that about once a day I get an extra 20. It's just it's the strangest damn thing. Tomorrow's short coming out on YouTube is that same video. Oh no, it's a, sorry, it's a drinking collage, right? And it's just uh, different kinds of alcohol and a couple of them are me holding it. It's just a fun video I threw together. So keep your eyes and ears open for that. 
Let's do some real quick updates before we wrap this up. I'm already working on next week's vlog and I wanna talk next week about crappy customer service with something I bought on Amazon that I absolutely loved and it broke on me. And I've used it many a time on my videos. I wish I still had it, but we'll talk more in depth on that next week. So crappy customer service. We'll see if they ever get this resolved, I doubt it. Well, let's do a white Russian break. Mrs. Dude has challenged me to do a video, a three minute video, to see how many white Russians I can drink in three minutes. I bet I can drink a hell of a lot because I love a good white Russian. All right guys, I appreciate it. Appreciate you sticking uh, here with me. Uh, we'll see you next Wednesday on Instagram. Like I said earlier, I am going to start doing these live on YouTube as well. I just haven't quite figured out when. So, anyhow, thank you again, everybody, for watching. Here's to letting life come to us once in a while, right? You guys are the best, and I appreciate it, and we will talk to you soon. Bye.